Hello and welcome to the new episode of Chaos in the Kitchen where I'm gonna show you how to make a good vegan garlic mayonnaise. Prost. So, what we need for, uh, for, for, for a good mayonnaise is uh, rapeseed oil, good shit. We need three deciliters and we need some lemon juice. Uh, we need one deciliter of uh, soy milk and one teaspoon of uh, vinegar. Uh, you can use whatever vinegar you want. This is uh, some strange German kind, uh, but uh, use whatever you like. And then, of course, garlic. I'm gonna use three cloves, and uh, you also need the teaspoon. You need some measure thingies. Uh, you need you don't need, but it may be easier if you have this garlic pressy thingy. And then you need a regular uh, I guess you can use a bigger if you want to, but uh, we have a small one and that's what we're using. So we're starting we're making falafel uh, so there's a lot of shit around here and that is just the good for uh, the name of the show is Chaos in the Kitchen and then we will have Chaos in the Kitchen. And this is how you do to get the peel of uh, garlic. You just put it under your, your, your cutting board uh, and then you hit it like it was a good friend. Uh, that you have known for a long time, so you know how hard you can hit them without their being sad about it. I hope you have friends like that. If you don't have friends like that, you should get friends that likes to hit you, and that you like to hit, because it's nice <laughs> to have some human contact. Uh, so, I Smash them and now I'm gonna put them inside this and just squeeze like there's no tomorrow. It's so good to have a camera to talk with so you can just talk all the time. Nobody can say that you're too social. You don't even need friends. You just need a camera. Nobody needs to watch the videos. You can just talk with the camera. It's good now in isolation times to have somebody to talk to. So talk to your cell phones. They're nice people. Who said that cell phones wasn't people? So I like to to press these uh, like a couple of times because it's going in a fudging mayo and that means that I don't want a lot of small pieces in it. If I can if I can prevent that, I will do that to the limits of my ability. Which is quite soon, actually, because you get so icky and sticky on your hands while doing this. And no, I wouldn't do that with a regular chef's knife. This is a knife that just cost 
two days salaries for a person who's a bit under the, the, the poor uh, limit. What is it called? I don't know. Well, some people, I think, if you live under one dollar per day, you're considered poor. Uh, according to international standards and this knife was like about two dollars maybe two and a half dollars uh, so even a poor person who is not super poor could afford it uh, and I always sharpen it so don't you worry uh, so now we're gonna put this all of this squeezed garlic in there and then we take soy milk one deciliter I have already measured it uh, and then we will have one ah, one teaspoon of vinegar I don't know why but it says so in all the recipes, so I'm just doing like they told me, and then they do what they told you, and then squeezing some lemon juice because I think it gets a bit more sting, and then just some some, some refined sugar, uh, and then you mix this together. Uh, Swing, swung. Maybe you should come over here and look at this from a better perspective. Oh, look, that's a nice perspective. Now we should. Put in some more oil in here. We don't have any oil at all. We have everything else but oil. And now we're gonna put in the oil. And we wanna pour in the oil. Like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, like not a lot at a time. Now you can hear. And you can maybe also see that it's a bit more fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. We like fluffy when it comes to mayo. Whoop. So we put in some more oil. The more oil you have, the more fluffy it gets. Kind of fluffy, but we want it more fluffy. This is getting hot now. We have used it for a uh, 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 longer time than it's recommended. I hope it won't break. For the last piece of oil, and now we hope it will be as hard as we want it. Look at here. 
Is this a good mayo? I would actually want it harder. I'm gonna put in some more oil. This is super hot now. But, you see now, it's more of a consistency that I want with my mayo. So now, it's just uh, seeing if there's, if it tasted good. So we take our little golden spoon and uh, oh no, it's too much garlic. Relatively, relatively, relative. Yeah, English. Fuck you. Uh, sorry for the harsh language. So, I'm trying to put in some more of the lemon and some more of the sugar and see if we can get that, uh, that, uh, that taste to be more suitable for my needs. <laughs> in this shit ruining it that's much better oh and now the garlic is the aftertaste and that is really nice mmm this is a really good mayo you should try this and uh, now I'm just gonna put this in a package and put it in the freeze fridge freezer fridge Wherever you want it, I guess. Fridge is better than freezer. Anyway, uh, super thank you for watching this episode <laughs> of Case in the Kitchen. And we'll be right back to you some other time in the future. Whoosh.